Well, I just took the fuel tank off. No fuel drilled out of that there. And I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't, but I looked right down in there. Well, maybe you can see that. There's no fuel in that fuel rail. Well, fuel pop sounded different then. tired it was a long day yesterday when I put the fuel tank back on I had the fuel pipe facing that way and then when I moved the fuel tank back over it's folded the fuel pipe over and there was no fuel so that's that sorted out so if things aren't going right walk away have a break from it and then come back to it and you normally have epiphanies and things like that or it just goes right or you miss something really obvious Oh, that's way stiffer. That's very rich. I'm probably not going to ride that. I'm just going to like alter the injectors to start with. Right, the injectors I've just put in are 500cc ones and the old ones are 463cc, so that's 10% difference. So in theory, I need to lower the duty cycle of these by 10%. And it should work properly right across the board. So in order to do that, these numbers here, by the way, I believe are the injector duty cycle in microseconds and a microsecond is a millionth of a second. So if we slide across to the fuel trim table, if I hit table and hit modify and select all of the cells, if I hit all of the, if I hit all, oh, come on. If I select all of the cells, and then lower them by 10%. But I'm actually gonna go 20% because looking at the AFR gauge at idle there, I reckon that's more closer to the mark. So I'm gonna put these values in. So if I hit table and then, no, not table, hit map, apply trims, that's gone over to this. So these are a good deal lower now, the duty cycle and the injectors. So now if I, connect to the bike, I can reflash that onto the bike. So it's connected, so ECU, reprogram, continue, battery charger, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's reprogram that. I love that sound. Mix just probably a little bit, a little bit rich at the moment. Certainly rides all right. See, so I leans down there when I do that. A bit rich, sort of here. I don't know, that's all right. It's pretty good to me.
that pulls really hard. I might lean it down a little bit and see what happens. The gearing's really nice now, it's absolutely awesome. I've got that nailed now, I reckon. That's what spark plugs look like now, at the moment. actually went another 10% richer so that it was only like 10% leaner from where it was originally and it was too rich so now I've actually gone another oh 25% leaner than what it was originally and it, it's too lean so where I first tuned it to at 20% leaner I reckon spot on so I'm gonna go and put that back on it again and I might do a little bit of fine tuning another day I'm not sure or I might wait till I get a supercharger on it but at the moment it's going really really well the gear ratios are absolutely awesome the clutch is great it's all good Fine. Right, so what I've been do oh, you don't do that. Right, what I've been doing is I've been actually trying the bike on the road. I keep riding on the same bits of road under the same conditions so I know what the bike does and where it does it. I've been driving it, I've been driving it, I've been riding it under different throttle conditions, I've been cruising, hard acceleration, and I've been actually taking a note of what sort of revs I'm doing, what load I'm putting on it, and keeping an eye on the air-fuel ratio. So trying to sort of see whether it surges, whether it's got flat spots, whether it's fluffy and whereabouts, it's doing this. This is so that I can actually get my head around how Tune ECU works with the bike. So when I come to put it on a dyno, I'm going to know what I'm doing a lot better. And putting the new injectors in was an ideal opportunity for me to mess about doing this. I've turned off the oxygen sensors at the moment as well. The oxygen sensors only sort of are working, the original factory ones I'm talking about here, they're only sort of working when it's sort of light throttle and sort of lower RPM. What I originally did to actually get it running a bit better with the injectors was I leaned the mixture down across the whole map. But then what I did when I turned the oxygen sensors off was I actually did it in sections. So where I could feel the engine was a little bit flat or whatever I'd, I'd richen it up or lean it down to suit which was mainly sort of in the lower rev ranges and around idle and, and cruising and stuff like that so that's what happened there I'm probably not doing a lot of stuff right and then but to find out information on tuned ECU is very difficult because it's very secret squirrel people don't want to give information away so I'm just trying things out and testing them out it's better off doing it now where I'm not going to hurt the engine because it's not under boost rather than when I've got the supercharger on it. And when I get the supercharger on very shortly, I'm getting a base map for it anyway. So that should hopefully have the timing set conservatively and the fueling is no problem for me. And it's going on the dyno anyway. So that should all be good. And I'll show you how to turn off the oxygen sensors in another video. When I, when I put these injectors in, it does feel like it's got more grunt. So I don't know whether that's a modification worth doing or not. I've just got them in so that they can cope with the extra fuel it needs when it's actually got boost. So that's where I'm at with that. So don't forget to like and share and comment. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And have a great day.